Hello everyone. Good morning. The remnants of Hurricane Ian are long gone and finally we're back to sunny skies and I just want to reach out to all of my viewers out in Florida and all the states that got affected by the hurricane uh, just a few days ago. Hurricane Ian is a real son of a bitch. Uh, what it did to especially the Fort Myers area of Florida. All you photographers out there, uh, you're in my thoughts. And um, I'm very sorry for what happened to you and your property. And I hope, hope your family's okay. Okay, let's get into it. It's Carmine from New York coming to you from one of the most beautiful state parks here in New York City. Mount Loretto unique area uh, I just want to say please subscribe you do this old man some good make me feel like a million bucks all right I'm holding in my hand the Olympus e500 and it's an 8 megapixel four-thirds sensor now calm down I know a lot of you are saying, oh my goodness, why is he dealing with a not only an 8 megapixel digital single lens reflex camera, but why is he dealing with a four-thirds sensor, which is half, exactly half the size of a 35 millimeter full frame film or full frame sensor? Well, let's do just a little bit of history and we're going to jump right into the photographs that I took today here in this beautiful state park with this gorgeous camera the E500 with the 14 to 45 Olympus lens the f-stop range is 3.5 to 5.8 why am I so excited to be out here for the first time shooting ever with the E500 from Olympus it's very simple when this camera a long time ago was being designed by the engineers it came time to pick a manufacturer of the sensor and I am so happy they used their head and they went with a film manufacturer it <laughs> calmed down they went with Kodak inside this beautiful Olympus camera is a Kodak CCD sensor it's so reminiscent of film because guys it was developed by a film manufacturer many of my colleagues say oh you got the Kodachrome E500 I'm like, what are you talking about that's what the photographs even the JPEGs yes you could shoot raw TIFF JPEG you can shoot them all on this camera Wait, you decide for yourself if the photographs from this E500 look like film. The sensor was developed by film guys, by Kodak, not by Sony. Sorry, Sony. This sensor is a Kodak sensor. Now, a little bit more behind the scenes. So I just picked this E500 up last week on eBay. Working condition. It was from a real camera store online. And he had it marked all the way down to a hundred bucks with the shipping, with the lens, camera, battery, charger, a bag, and one more thing. This camera shoots two types of cards, CF and XD. XD is an obsolete small card used by some Fujifilm, some Olympus cameras. It looks like as if you took an SD card and you cut it in half. It's very small, it slips in here, it's called XD. Now, it came with a 512 megabyte XD card. It has a slot for it right next to the CF card slot. In here today I have a CF card. I don't have the XD card anymore because they're so rare I sold it immediately for $25. I paid $100 for the whole system. The card came in the package. I took it out, listed it immediately on eBay, sold it immediately for 
five dollars lowering the cost to this to 75 bucks complete package battery charger body lens keep your eyes open always look for a package deal and go through each thing in the package because some poor sap not knowing what he has might be a piece in there that's worth more than the whole package itself all right uh, by the way before I show you the photographs just keep this in mind when this camera was being developed and engineered and they reached out to Kodak for a sensor because it looked just like Kodachrome guess who else reached out to Kodak for the sensor as well and bought it Leica many Leica digital cameras have Kodak sensors just like in here all right enough let's look at the photographs I took right now from this beautiful state park subscribe please thumbs up comment below and email me black and white photo at aol.com about any photography question and I promise I will get back to you in 24 hours all right guys let's look at the photographs I took today with the Olympus e 500.